At Applefowered School, we all want reading to be a positive experience. It should be an enjoyable activity where we can relax, sit back and get lost in another world. Without fluency, this experience is impossible. This video will cover three big questions. What is fluency? How can you help us to achieve fluency in reading? And when will you know that we have achieved fluency? What is fluency? Fluent reading sounds smooth and natural, almost conversational. Non-fluent words is staggered and choppy. We spend more time decoding the words than actually enjoying what we are reading. You will know that you are fluent when our reading is mostly accurate, it moves at a good pace and it is expressive. By expression, we mean that we pay attention to the punctuation we read in phrases rather than word by word. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. The deep, dark wood is a common phrase used in children's literature, so three words should be read as one unit. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. How do we develop fluency? The first step is mastering basic decoding skills. Children in year one or below will be working their way through our Twinkle phonics program, so we will still be relying on our phonics to read text. From year two and onwards, most children have mastered phonics in reading and becoming smoother. They can pay more attention to the meaning of the text. The second key to fluency is to read a lot. As with any skill, the more we practice, the stronger the skill will grow, and this is important for our understanding for the meaning of the text, and it is important that we are reading books at the appropriate level of challenge. When will we achieve fluency? So when, you, so when should you expect your child to achieve fluency? Most children develop a fluent style of reading by the end of year two or early year three, but keep in mind that we all develop at our own pace. It might happen earlier or later, and that is absolutely fine. It is also important to know what a, that a reader is never completely done in developing fluency. It may be easier to achieve fluency in a phonetically decodable book in key stage one, but as we move our way onto more challenging reads, we will be faced with more complex vocabulary, which might slow down our pace as we go back to the line on using sound talk for decoding or using more active reading breakdown strategies. Even when we reach high school, we will use reading as a tool to find out more. Reading will become denser, more complex, and our pace will be naturally compromised. So at each stage, we need to develop our own fluid in order to progress further. Finally, why is fluency important? Fluency is the key to a stronger understanding. Once we are fluent readers, we can pay more attention to the detail of reading rather than just the words that are on the page. Fluency is the bridge between decoding and comprehend comprehension. Most importantly, fluency is a gateway to a love of reading. We enjoy reading the most when we can get lost in a world of a, a new story and being fluent allows us to do just this.